Welcome back, adventurers. What's yeah, up? Uh, mm. We are at the Lek Ruins, just outside of the town of Elyrin, where, last time, you met Harl Vernau. You met Zup. You met Kaleva. And you fought, briefly, a collection of pixies. And their leader. General Skyberry? General Skyberry, Ooh, who you had to go. heal after dropping her unconscious. Oh. But you luckily did. And she revealed a little bit of information to you about the Green Mother. Did she? <laughs> a, little, a little bit, a little bit. You know that she lives there all the time. She's very old. The ruins are extremely magical. Extremely. They are protecting it in her absence because she has been arrested and is somewhere loose in the town of Elyrin. And your job is to catch her. You are still at the ruins. You know you're only a few hours if you travel west you'll arrive in the town. And you only have two days to complete this mission. Trying to still figure out which way is west. <laughs> we already um, know I'm just messing with you. It's fine. Um, we could waste two days trying to figure out which way is west. So, no, it's that. It's it's still that. Okay. So guys, um, I have a funny feeling that this hammer lane that you guys seem to know something about, I feel like she's in the wrong here. Uh, this elf, this place is full of so much magic that a, if we try to capture and fight the Green Mother, we might be biting off more than we can chew. And I don't know, I, I, if this is a connection to the Fae, I kind of would rather help them than some greasy nobles. I'm with Rurik on this one. However, I do think Hammer <laughs> would be a good place to start for information because perhaps she knows and that's why she doesn't want to come and recapture the Green Mother. Yeah, like why isn't she just doing this herself again, right? Precisely, it could and be that she's taking a stand as well and it would be good to have her on our side because she's a fucking legend. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. But she captured her, so she's probably working for the nobles. Maybe she helped her escape. Maybe. We should talk to these guys. Uh, uh, the bar, there's a bar, bar. there's yeah, a pub, yeah, let's go. What you got? Yeah. Guys, we're going to the she, pub. She, she captured it the first time, it's then refused to the second time. I mean, it's not like we've never been in situations where we did something accidentally that we thought we were supposed to do and it turned out to be the wrong thing. So, right. Right. you know, I have a problem. No, sorry. Oh, oh. hang on. I, I jumped down. Roll your acrobatics. This is the most amazing backflip you guys have ever seen. It's like shadows, blue, flip, shadow, blue, flip, shadow, blue. It just, and then all of a sudden, superhero land. Oh, very nicely done. It was very done. impressive. Hear that stunt? Hugely impressive, I have to say. <clears throat> that was pretty cool. I really can't deny it. That was cooler than you are, Tips. It's true. <laughs> that is as cool as I am. <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Roll insight. Insight? Oh. Uh, uh, seven. <laughs> um, 24. Try again, how cool are you? <clears throat> um, I'm like, I'm pretty cool, but still, like, that's not the first time I've ever done that. <clears throat> yeah, mate. I mean, look, you look great. Can we Dear move on to this tag? diary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Best backflip ever. All right, I'm going to get a drink. <clears throat> no, okay. I, I actually did have something to say. Oh. Right. There is a problem. While uh, I actually... I am on your side in the issue of um, who we should side with. There is still the problem that we are being paid to complete a task. And while your payment is in gold and coin, 
my payment is in information that I need. Uh, maybe there's a way we can do both. Maybe we I can mean, we both. still have this guy's porn collection and all his risky letters. Let's yeah, we, not tell him about it. Yeah, we could blackmail the crab out of Harlow. Yeah, yeah. Gold is not an issue here. Blackmail. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Excellent, we're all in agreement. Can we fuck off now? Well, but just while you were hearing them talk about Hammerlane and more about the plan, you realize her name is probably Hammerlane Rake. You recognize the name of that general, that wizard. Mm. She's famous across all of Kaimond. You're from this country. Yeah. Yeah, so turns out... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little, little bit of a brain fart earlier, you know. It's, it happens. I get distracted by things, and then you know, I see the pretty pyramids, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, they're upside down. It's pretty cool. And so, down, yeah. you know, uh, all that happens, and then a couple of pixie arrows. Hamelain, Hamelain, right? right. Hamelain, Hamelain, Rick. Hamelain, yeah. Rick. Like yeah. the city of Rick. Yeah, yeah. That's actually oh. where she's from. Um, that's something else. Yeah, it's a bit different. Ray Camelain, actually. Uh, but um, she's, uh, I'm not convinced that she's on the bad side of things. Really? She's, yeah, she's pretty famous as like a stand up lady. Um, Is she you know. funny? I mean, not particularly, but uh, she's an excellent fighter. She's, you know, been involved in. Uh, in, uh, in th things. She's a very honorable person. All right, that's what I remember hearing about her. That said, there are a lot of nobles out there that people are like, oh, this noble's so honorable, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that guy's a scumbag if you talk yeah. to him on the yeah, side. I've so, with a lot of nobles. Right, for you know, dirty bunch of I, I, I haven't met Hamelin, um, but her reputation suggests maybe uh, we shouldn't be <laughs> so quick to jump on. Uh, the negative side of her. Right. So you guys have done a quick recap for yourselves. Absolutely. And you begin to head towards the town. All right. You travel through the forest. I'll, uh, the trees. I'll, I'll take to the treetops. Treetops. As you guys all move along together, okay. staying in the shadows Absolutely. to protect you. The, the sun is now, it's midday, bright, oh, it's warm. Bad. I hate this shit. Fuck. Enough. Enough is enough with the sun. Can't we just have one rainy day for Christ's sake? Doesn't Not now. Daylight. It's beautiful out. The kiss of the sunshine on your cheeks Ew. as you hide in the shadows. Yeah. And you travel through the woods, and then you crest over the top of this small ridge, and you see that just down below you, if you traverse this gentle slope downwards instead nice. of like another switchback mm -hmm. situation, um, it's a nice gentle slope, clearly traveled by horses and carts all the time in that valley, just nestled in between the toes of those two mountain ranges. The town of Illyrin. Mm. Oh, how charming. Smells good. Do the trees continue to the edge of the city itself? They don't. It's kind of a flat plain where the river crosses around it. <gasps> river? Mm. <sighs> Demons hate running water. <sighs> <sighs> right. I'm not going anywhere near that we'll murder find, flood. I think we're going to find exactly what we're looking for in here. Yeah, so we're heading to the Lazy Bee, and we're looking for Walter, Need. Waltar, and Saldorf. They're the two guards that were responsible or something. I feel like they're, they're probably sympathizers. Watching, they're children of the seed. Sure, sure. Right, that yeah. we heard about. So they're prob they might be able to help us. We gotta convince them to help us find the Green Mother, because they I'm feeling like they know where she is. I really like to go find those hobos. So, you guys. They might be they might be hiding uh, oh, the green mother as well. Oh shit. <laughs> Here we go. The dirty hobos around the um, well, you know? Oh yeah, so, yeah. Oh, there's exactly. the well too. There's we can the well. totally That's go to the well. Insist. What is a hobo? You emerge into the, in the outside of the town of Elyrin. Oh. Rotate me so that the self gate. While. What, where do you want the self gate? We're gonna, south gate facing me. Where does it say south gate? Oh, I can smell it, it's leather. <laughs> There. Yeah. So you come into the flat plain surrounding the outside of Elyrin, and you see... This is... sorry. Uh, metagame, metagame. This is blowing my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful! This is the town of Elyrin. 
right. Behold, lo. Not quite to scale. As <laughs> <laughs> this is a town for ants. <laughs> Big as a building. Elirin is surrounded by a nice, beautiful stone wall. They clearly make use of being in the mountains, um, braced with large, thick, dense wooden beams. The architecture that you can make out as you're getting closer to the city is similar to the rest of Kaimind. The themes of circles throughout their walls, buildings, archways. You can see that a lot of the buildings are kind of whitewashed. It's a very cute, pretty place. They've got They've got flowers out for the wedding. There's ribbons everywhere. As you're approaching into the streets, there are people with carts laden with goods coming in. The guards are happily chatting with them. All of the guards are wearing a bit of a half purple cape and they have a purple armband with a silver dragon. Everybody is celebratory, happy. The noise is just a constant chatter of people meeting each other again coming into the town for the wedding, talking about what's gonna happen, conversing with the guards about where everything is. You see them sharing bottles of wine amongst each other and cute little children running between everyone's knees with streamers. It's all shit and giggles, but where are the derelicts? Not that you can see any as you come in. Exactly. Mm. Travels to the outside. And then waiting for you, not to scale. <laughs> He's huge! <laughs> you see the same familiar face waving his cute little mustard yellow hat at you all. Everything's uh, cute. Uh, Hi, guys! Sup, sup. Sup, sup. Hi, guys. Look, I kind of, I realized that in order to get in and do what you gotta do, you're gonna have to talk to some people who maybe don't want to give you answers. And so I thought that I should let you know, oh, I quickly had a quick race back, and I can give you the seal of for now. Which will let you into all sorts of locations. That will save for later. <laughs> oh, can we please, uh, for the love of God. I still don't understand that. <laughs> so if you just wave that seal around, people are going to let you into all sorts of places that you couldn't otherwise go. All right. Thank well, you, that's going to be helpful. Thank you. And I just wanted to make sure that you can get into town without having to stand out here with the rest of this riffraff. So I just want to make sure, like, hi. This is hi. riffraff. And he uh, waves to a bunch of the guards, and he's, like, pointing at you guys, and he's like... Uh huh. Very, very discreet. I'm always uncomfortable. As in the opposite of that. Could He's I, a temper. Could I read? Well, that was a piece No. I never. You should know what it says before we go. Like, hey. I never get to hold it. We it's we just break a seal, the seal, and on the inside, as is your, you're very curious about it. On the inside, it's just going to tell you all about, uh, with the permission of Harvard now, blah blah blah. Give them what they want. Insight check. Uh, oh, yeah, can I do an insight check to see if he's lying? I get advantage, I have a ring of truth telling. I'll do an insight as well. Oh! Double botch! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! I got to say the name of my baby! Jeez! I have my own hands ready! I know! <laughs> I'm standing right next to you, I've got you, buddy! He loses both this of his listen. eyes! It jammed! It jammed! <laughs> Wow. Let's do it the not that. Yeah. Roll your percentile. You only do it once, I see. You only roll percentile once. But I know, let's, I just felt it. Let's, let's oh do my it. god. What? 93. Yo! <laughs> okay, he better get permanently disfigured at this point. <laughs> it's just, it's just seeing if a guy's lying. <laughs> Are you lying? Ah, my cheek! <laughs> my, my insight was it's seven, so me. I'm going to believe whatever he says. <laughs> insight on this side. Uh, 23, but the die roll was a 17. Just <laughs> okay, so uh, he's completely honest with you about this, but you can tell that behind those eyes, not everything is the complete truth. This is a bit of an act. You get a feel for that. You don't. You can't tell shit. You are staring at him, and you're like, looking at the letter, the seal of Vernau, and you're looking over at it. You get this idea. Rick, don't look at me like that. <laughs> and you're looking over at it, and you're thinking, man, everything else has been really magical. I wonder if it's magical. But as you reach out to touch it, suddenly a surge of your holy energy lights it on fire. Oh shit! You're holding it, roll a d4. Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a 
was a, I didn't do that. That was a misfire. This is why we keep to ourselves. Three. Right, Talendar? <laughs> you take five hit points of damage. <laughs> oh, Radiant no. damage. <laughs> and you're so concerned about having just lit the paladin up with some of your holy energy. You pull your hand back That's and you look cool. at it and you have the seal of Vernal, like. <laughs> Well, we don't have to throw in one. What do I do with it? Dude, what the hell did you just do? Does it hurt? No, but it's permanently on your hand now. <laughs> what did you just do? I don't know. I don't know. He reached, he reached out to grab the seal from her, put his hand around it, lit it on fire, burned his own hand. The one time I get to hold the thing and you set me on fire. I'm really sorry. I. I don't know how that even happened. This is great. We don't need the scroll anymore. We just need you. Don't die. I'm a little... Oh, oh, you know, I always bring extras. Like, you never know what's going to happen. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Technically, we just need the hands. I will hold on to that one. No, 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 no. He sets things on fire. He's setting things on fire. Let's just... He sets things on fire. Don't let Once I set things on fire. That is two for two so far. You guys are a mess. You guys are a mess. Papers on fire? Why would you do that? It's an accident. You know, I'm... Powerful magic. Sometimes it just bursts out, and uh, you know, it's like it just spills. Forth. I swear to God, that never happens. <laughs> what the hell am I gonna do with this? Uh, well, I'm, I suppose you're gonna be able to get into places now. You're right, you're we'll have to give you a fancy nickname that starts with a V, of which I can think of one very prominent word that's on the tip of my tongue. I'd imagine everyone here is gonna think you're very committed to their city. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, oh, 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 vagrant! You can Why? use it. Ver later. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. He, he I got it. I, I finally get it. Finally it. I get it. I know it would take a minute. Excellent. Great. I, I don't know that it's going to work if you show don't people touch me, this, that um, might look a little bit like Har Hall's brand did you, which is, I mean, not his friend, as it were. Like, he doesn't go around just, like, hurting people that way. That's not cool. Yeah, or maybe you like grabbed a door handle trying to break in and it was like really hot <laughs> or something. Oh, yeah. uh, so it could just be mocking you as like a criminal. Hmm. Right, there's also that. Are there a lot of doorknobs with this seal on it? At, at the Vanau estate, there sure are. Crap. I mean, that seal's all over everything. All right, I need a glove. You know, I've got my dagger, why right? don't I just peel it off? No. Zop, do you happen to have uh, another one of those seals? Because we still need to... Uh, oh, yeah. Scroll. I gave it to this guy. Yes, you know, the one with the one, one. The one right. tooth. Fantastic. All right. Um, Actually, I don't know what's going on with your other tooth. You got, like, the one that looks like it's solid. Yeah. It's a funny it's story, a story, that one, you know. But it's somebody really, it's, it's really who was impatient... Story. That's fine. We all have our to, moments of impatience. Yeah. It got knocked off. Someone I'd love to somehow still. get it back. Well, on. I know that you got lots to do. I know Kaleva told you guys to get over to the Lazy Bee. So uh, head on in. You're going to go through these south gates. The gods are going to let you guys go right through. When you go in, if you go left, you're going the wrong way. Then you'll be in the Lyceran district. You want, don't want to go that way. You'll be over the temples. Unless, I mean, your paladin wants to go over and check it out. Or your cleric. But, uh, you know, that's what happens if you go that way. Huh. If you go in and you go to the Temp right, right, you're going to go into Majitan, which is what you want to be for right. the Lazy Bee. Uh, oh, I just have a question for you. Uh, yeah, temple, I'm going go for ahead. a drink. Uh, can you, do you know exactly where uh, there is a well? That, that's in the corners. Right, in the corners. It's a section of the town. Okay. Yeah, where the, is that? The, so the town's kind of divided up into eight. We call them octants. Right. So if you go on through the town, you'll see in the middle of the town, yes. there's a great big statue, you can't miss it, then the Jade Plaza. Okay. And then if you go in, you, you guys are going directly to the Lazy Bee, though, right? Because, I mean, TikTok time is We've of the essence. We've got an idea, because uh, that well might be a good place to look and question people to find the Green Mother. All right, well, if you head to the, if you go left through lots of winding narrow alleys, or if you head straight to the Jade Plaza and then keep going that left kind of right. direction and you turn that way, you'll end up, um, you'll, you'll be able to tell the corners, you'll hear all the blacksmiths and you'll oh. um, probably oh, see great. a bunch of the, uh, we're trying to move some of those, you know, less uh, clean and, party looking people well, over to that end of town. social infrastructure in place that their numbers are significantly lessened and their quality of life improves. I think you're preaching right. to the wrong. <laughs> I don't yeah. think this is somebody's receptive to that. <laughs> um, well, I mean, if you guys look for me... Which octant did you say the Lazy Bee was in? It's in Margitan. 
Yeah. And just go in. To the right. And go to right. The right. Oh. If you go, if you find that you're in Marge Town and you're traveling through the winding narrow alleys, right. um, if you hit the room and bore, you've gone too far. Room and bore. Yeah, it's one of our inns. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Fabulous. But you'll, you'll see the lazy bee. You'll, you'll see the sign. It's real cute. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, if, you um, mind, if you guys are looking for me way. later, I'm always over in the Palatinate, which is way at the other end. It's the lodge auction at the end. Once you get into town, you should be able to see the lodge. Uh, towers, which are of the council palace. Council palace. Right, right. Right? I mean, that's where you, if you, for some reason, you got in trouble and Hamelin wanted to see you, you'd be over that way. Mm. Um, but I'm always hanging around in there. It's where all the gods and everybody uh, hangs out. So I'll be over there with uh, Hall. Or sometimes I'm over in Vinewood, where Hall's normal house is when he's in town. How did you get around? Oh, well, yeah. I could be at the B myself sometimes. We really like to go there. Hall hangs out there sometimes. So when Lazy he Bee's in Margitan? That's correct. Margitan. Okay. Yep, I'll run it on in. And the corners. And right. where were the, uh, the, the temples? Lyceran. To the left. Yep. <laughs> I have an idea. Right. <laughs> you, uh, All right. Oops. So I gotta head on. Good luck, guys. Got lots to do. Um, Cheers. Have a great time. Thanks so much for the guidance, son. Yeah, thanks. Uh, which way does he go? Uh, you watch him go through the gates and then you can't quite tell. Suddenly he just disappears. Okay. He pulled the Kaiser so mm. yeah. Uh, yeah. There's busy streets, and as you walk in through the town, you've emerged through the south gate. You're walking through. The path that you come in on with all the carts rolling past you and the people waving at the people that they know and shopkeeps, uh, these are still stone, dark gray, some smaller white pebbles mixed in nice smooth path along the main roads. But then you, as you look off to the very narrow, winding, tucked away alleyways that jut off from every side as you walk past, those are all like a packed dirt. But you can see that people have their, all their windows open in the sunshine. The curtains are billowing in a light breeze. Around barrels that are around the town, there's the big purple ribbons that are put out for the party. And there's lots of flowers and baskets everywhere. You can hear the occasional clank of distant blacksmiths, and you can smell surprisingly sweet flowers and tasty pastries baking somewhere. But for people who are not as used to being in the city spaces, or those of you who have been living in the wilds and quite enjoying it, you still smell people, horses, Filth. industry. So you get a bit of that on the nose as well as you come in to the town of Elyrin, mm -hmm. bustling and busy. Are there any uh, uh, windows that are open? There are lots of open ground? windows close to the ground. Perfect. I'd just like to sidle up against uh, one of them. As you're walking in? And as I'm walking in and just uh, just gently sort of gaze through one of the curtains just to see if I could see if anybody's in there. There are people in there. Looks like it's a weaver's shop. And there's women at looms. People are working away. Okay. Working with fabrics, textiles, bits of... Well, I don't know about you guys, but I actually think we should uh, divide and conquer on this one a little bit. We're too short on time. I concur. I think I'm happy to help Ted. You can go to the tavern. I think I should go to the well. I'm, ha I'm happy to go to the well. God damn it, I want to go to the well, but I want to go to the tavern first. Uh, same, I want to do both. Let's just maybe... Let's divide and conquer because we're short on time. Oh, I don't trust you guys to go to the well first. Fuck. Yeah. What? Well. Why would you trust us? us? You're going to eat some. I don't know. I She's with me. Know. She's going to eat me. That's right. It's fine. He's my blood bag. You just stay together. <laughs> Which is kind of going to out us in the present. No, 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 no. I That's all right. We convinced the last like ones with the whole kink thing. thing. If we do split up, are we on the same page that we're going to actually try and help the Green Mother? Yes. yes. We're on the same page. Absolutely. Absolutely. We investigate the Green Mother. Yeah. Yeah. See. But, but if you guys yeah. talk to the guards, we go over and talk to the people. Right. I think we will find the information we're looking for, then we'll come to you at the tavern. Before um, you leave, do you have that tooth? I do. I have Let's an keep idea. It. You want to hold it in place? What? I mean, why? It's just a pretend like, what? Just, yeah. just, just, just so it. I can sort of feel what it's like again. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. All magical. <laughs> You got it there? Right, right where it on. should be? What are you doing? This is a cruel trick. Whether broken, torn, or cleaved in twain, this spell will make it whole again. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we've got a new magic pants on our hands. Yeah. Ready? He casts mending on your tooth. Mm -hmm. It stitches together. 
but the nerves haven't healed. Still a bit loose. But it's there. It's connected. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't ah. sure that would work. Just can't kind of feel it. Don't bite down too hard mm. on anything. It's still oh, I feel so good again. Don't want to, mm. don't want to push yes. that. No, <laughs> you might want to factor in a trip over to the... Uh, no, well, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you've got your two, uh, go have a drink. Find someone who's got some high, like, real. I'm not, my healing is meh. And uh, <laughs> find someone who's really good at that and see if you can get the. the make sure it stays. Do make sure it's a two. I sure as shit am not going with Cities you. have shamans? The temple, the temple. The temple, that's yours. the word I was looking for. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm not going there. You're a cleric. <laughs> I'm a blacksmith. <laughs> I'm a blacksmith who just, well, I mean, I'll tell you a story sometime. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for that, Rurik. That's, that's yeah. great. Yeah, it was creeping me out. Oh, it feels so good to have it back again. More teeth for yeah. me to break. Don't get yeah. in my way, Ellie. <laughs> you do get the impression about it that it doesn't feel the same as your other that's or like I can't feel tusk. it. It's almost there, but not there. It's... Hmm. Yeah, get that checked. <laughs> it's a little weird. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's Might good. end up being uh, Alan the Black Tooth. I. Mm, oh that's all right. That sounds pretty cool, actually. Snaggletooth, Alan the Snaggletooth. So, what would you guys okay. like to do Dead with it tooth now? Alan. <clears throat> so, right. uh, tavern. Oh sure. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go to the tavern. I figure I first. Yeah, all right. You guys are quite hungry. You have you didn't really, other than a couple like nibbles of your rations, mm. you've been on the road for a while. So everybody's tummies are a little bit grumbly. I, did, yeah, I didn't uh, get to um, pick up any brandy while I was in Rake because I had to spot uh, our monk friend mm. uh, for some of his stuff. So I need maybe from the tavern I can get uh, you know off sales of some brandy or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elinda, you were gonna not be silent? What? <clears throat> I need to go find someone. Huh. Cryptic. Like a romantic partner or something? I think we should I ask them. I mean, they might be sure they have a whorehouse here somewhere. Yeah, they probably every town does. No, no, what? No, no, what? Look, man, they, we're not gonna judge you. One you of know? the guards. No, it's not, it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> mm, it's, no, I don't need the touch of another. <laughs> Guys, if you're looking for a, a brothel, Lavender's Lab. Lavender's what, Lab. What uh, what district is that in? Everything has such a delightful name. <laughs> Who said that? One of the guards as you're walking by. He's just passing you guys, walking down the street. He's like, hey, I hear you're talking about it. Lavender's Lab. That's why everyone's there you go, so happy mate. Here. Lavender's Lab, you can go and enjoy yourself. No judgment here. I'm judging. I don't need enjoyment. I, I, I take a leaf out of my, uh, <laughs> out of my, Pouch on my side, and I, ju I just eat it to stay above hunger. And I say, I'm going. I'm going. Celibate? Hunting. Oh, copy. I have to go hunting as well. Is that a coca leaf? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried coca leaves when I was out in. Uh, oh, God. Jungle. No, no, oh, no. no nope. Not without a drink okay. in my hand. Yeah, I take off too well. well. Like, you could just go and go and go. Um, you can eat this, mate. Uh, yeah, I, I start to yeah. chant my my m mantra. I would not show them. Im normie, im kurothos, im rin. Yes. And I uh, would like to sneak away. <laughs> Tip <-toe. laughs> the, the snort laugh is key to the sneak. <laughs> yeah. I was about to high five you for your uh, is that elvish. That or is it cocked? That's a five. Word. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Good try, though. Uh, so that's a 12. Um, well, everybody here notices you still. They see which way you go. But a bunch of the general just town folks and guards, they don't seem to notice as you slink away into the shadows. Okay. Weird that he was humming his own theme song. It was weird. Yeah. It's I'm heading towards too. the uh, well <laughs> as well. So, team, team, team well at the, going to the corners in this direction, and Team Tavern going to the Lazy Bee over here. I'd like to catch a bite, literally. Where, where are you going? In the daytime? Oh, I'm just looking for a stray cat in the dark. Okay, we'll deal with that when alleys. we get there. Whoever is going to the Bee will, will get there first because it's closest. So who's going to the Lazy Bee? Lazy Bee. Lazy Bee, Lazy Bee, Lazy Bee. Are you going to the well alone? No, no, no I'm coming along. Oh, okay. Just looking for a little snack. Yeah. He's <laughs> taking on reliable help. Oh, he's uh, <laughs> yeah, the party. What could possibly go wrong? 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna start with trip to the B. Then we're gonna go to the corners. Yeah. Then we'll deal with whatever you're up to. Okay. Okay. Lazy B. Traveling through the winding alleys. It's busy. It's a really cute area. You're in the district of Margitan, mostly Margitan. merchants, artisans. You can hear a bunch of people doing all sorts of interesting work with metals around you. I might know a couple of these guys. <laughs> Uh, and as you travel through, eventually you do get close to the lazy bee. You see that it actually has a really cute um, outside. It's wood. It's got a bunch of beams and pillars and a little set of tables outside as though they've got their own little hedge and little patio. Super cute. The sign that's hanging from the tavern has a really fat drunk bee on it. He's sitting on a little purple flower and drinking. All right. Um, so you two, before we... Go in there. Were we not supposed to crack this? I don't. Yeah, I, I def if you, definitely want to read it. No, but if you crack it, then don't we lose the seal? I mean, you don't I mean, need to. I think the important information is on the outside, or inside, hmm. right? Like, yeah, isn't that what you show? It's blank. Otherwise, you'd just be walking around being like, "Look at the seal inside." It could be like, the family officially hates this person and would like them to be executed on sight. This is true. Right. You'd never know. Uh, so I think, you think the could, writing inside is the think important we part. Could re seal it after. I like, think as long as just, just like try and like pop it off so we don't rip through the seal. Oh. So that you guys know, you don't have to unroll it. But on the inside, it does say permission of Hall over now. Help these people. Blah blah blah. With another like stamp. So you don't have to unseal it. Although you could if you want to. But all it reads is official business. Hmm. Seal. Uninterested. Be your time. All right. So if, you, if you show that to anybody, they'll be convinced. Open or that all you, Yeah, just like that. All you have to do is show it to them. Right. It would be unfurled yeah. for like a proper inspection, and they would see Harl's seal, but on this piece of paper, we haven't written anything on it. You guys oh, just keep fine. it in your inventory. <laughs> 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 oh, look, I'm trying to get around the phone. I know, I did it with my eyes, eyes and saw a thing. My little piece of information <laughs> there. <laughs> Where's well, props? It works just fine. <laughs> <laughs> it is your permission to get into places, so you okay. can wave that in people's faces. And okay. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 uh, do. Okay, so should we get these guys together, or do we want to separate them and see if their stories match up? I like it. While Rurik has made eye contact with you and you're talking to him, suddenly behind you, you didn't even realize she was there, but there's a really dirty young woman. Maybe her t early, maybe early 20s, but she looks like she's had a really hard life. She could be much younger than that. Just caked kind of dirt, a little bit of blood around her nose and ears. She's filthy, she has no shoes on. Her fingernails are just black. Her greasy, stringy, blonde hair is just all in her face. And she has this really filthy, muddy, me I don't even know, maybe it was creamy or white once, but now it's just brown. And it just hangs down and it's kind of ratty. But she's looking at you with just this love and hope in her eyes. Oh shit. And she looks at you and she says, <laughs> be the leaf, be the tree, be the stream, be the ocean, be life, be death. And then she just kind of backs up and dances along down the street. Oh. And you didn't notice, but in your pocket, she left you this. Oh, shit. Do I open it? It's just a little bag of seeds. <laughs> oh, God. Well, but you didn't notice. Oh. Oh. Right. Tell me when, when I notice that it's... Well, after, after you start to move, <laughs> you hear the shake of the seeds. As you guys are stepping did, forward. Did I see this? Like, we saw her say all that weird crap. Did that mean anything to any of you? You saw her only once she started talking, but not okay. when she was behind she her, slipped slipping it into her pocket. Um, can, can I roll to see, does it mean, like, history, maybe? Does it mean anything? Roll, mean? roll history. No, I mean, it's not 16. <laughs> These are cardamom 13. seeds. Um, Okay, so I wouldn't have seen her slip the thing in her pocket? You didn't see her slip the thing into her pocket, but you see as Aaron started to walk that she heard the little... Yeah. And she pulls them out, Ugh. rolls them into her hand. It's just seeds. Okay. Uh, Aaron, did that, that 
Hoobledy gook mean anything to you that she said? She certainly broke my heart. What? I certainly mean to have firm words with this noble family about the poverty rates here. Um, I wish she would have stuck around long enough for me to help. I mean, it's weird. She seemed really happy. Be the leaf, be the tree, be the stream, be the sea. And then I have cardamom bubbles. Yeah, she was something finished about death. Be death. <laughs> Yeah. You didn't well, catch I mean, that it's me. I mean, I killed a dragon with a single arrow. I mean, <sighs> yeah, and church full of twenty-four people or so. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's own. Uh, I'm sure all will be revealed in the fullness of time. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just. Did, uh, did my thirteen get me anything? Uh, you remember that they talked about the children of the seed earlier, and so you're guessing as you see. Holy shit! Children of the seed. Yeah. It was a seed child. Yeah, that was yeah. me that had to check to made me guess that, but... Thanks for jogging my memory. Yeah, <laughs> right, on, right on. All right. I, I want to see so if this she's must lying be about just having some sort of significance to Ooh, ooh, ooh. You want to insight check Aaron? Aaron. Okay. Is there something about my pure, unabashed... Ooh, double 18s. What's going on? Uh, plus 7, so 25. He is insight checking on whether or not this means anything to you. Like the, uh, the the stuff she said. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> There's nothing personal to her about it, but okay. she does feel a instant connection. All right. Okay. So everything I do is for the common people. That was a common person, not these yeah. airy fairy farty nobles that are jutting about with their hands at them. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, it's probably children of the sea. Yeah, uh, probably, so right? It seems likely. So, should we go to the tavern or we want to chase after that? I still need to hit the tavern. Let me get a road pop. Okay. Yeah, all right. You guys head into the tavern. <laughs> Take me like five minutes. <laughs> Making their way to the corners. We've got the ranger and the rogue traveling together through the winding streets. Are you going to cut directly through this area or are you going to head all the way into the middle and then veer left? Just head straight through the middle. Are you sure? Absolutely. I mean, not? I thought you said you needed to hunt for something to eat. Yeah, but we're going to veer left. We're, once we veer left, I'll... I'll All right, I just on. would really rather you find something <laughs> other than me. I'm not going to use you. I'm just looking for a straight pack. That's fine. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's okay. go then. Okay. But please stay close. Yeah, all of right. course, of course. You can stay close to me. You walk through the streets. Right. You get to the center of town. Excellent. Oh, it's wow. bustling, busy, in, but in the middle of town, Holy moly, there's a giant jade statue. Brilliant. Damn. Posed in a beautiful, heroic warrior pose. Roll history. Who is this? I mean, it's a little much for me. 16. Mm, 17. You both kind of put it together that uh, it's probably Elurin. You know that there's a famous person with the same name, and the town is named after them, so you're like, you know, big old huge jade statue, maybe that's that same person. I mean, I'm just saying this, but you know, like, I mean, if I was that famous, I wouldn't need a statue. I mean, I'd just be like, you know, I'm, but, I'm famous, I don't need a statue, I'm just, you know, who wants a statue? Right, but look at the Egyptians. Right, right, the who's? yeah. I, I, who are I the Egyptians? <laughs> I don't know, it was, it was a past life suddenly in my, in my brain, that's fine. Anyways, moving on. Okay. <laughs> You can kind of tell in which direction would be the corners. It's... I can smell it. I think we need to go this way. Let's just head into the darkness. Take left. Hard left. All right, all right, let's, let's go. Let's creep along, in, uh, along into the alleys, and uh, I'm just going to search around and see if I can find a nice little cat. Right, Roll perception. Eyes open. Am I 21. Also rolling perception? Whoa! Are you helping her look for cats? Oh, yes. Yeah, right, you are. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to keep your health up. All right. No, no cat. Yeah. Something nice and juicy. Thirteen. <laughs> it's not a cat, but there is a large rat nearby. Uh, well, I'd like to uh, I'd like to coax it over with a bit with a bit of to see if I could just gather it up into my arms and sort of cradle it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to keep mm -hmm. it with me. Just as you while. as you kind of lean down, it starts to scamper away. I lunge and I grab it. Roll dexterity. Twelve. Twelve? Yes. Oh, you actually beat it. <laughs> You're able to just reach out. You grab it. I grab Clock it. Clock down. 
I have my hand wrapped around its neck so that it can't bite me, and I flip it over onto its belly, and I bury my teeth into it, and I start sucking it like I'm done in seconds, and I throw it against the wall. All right, Ali, I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah, just one second. You're safe. Everyone's safe. Yeah. Move it There's along. still blood all, right. all over your face. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I grab my long ponytail and I wipe the blood off of my... I dab it, actually. You know, very, you really are quite gentle. something. I just... I needed to express that. Just to say that I... We have a special bond, Emily. Emily. Yes. We do. We have it's something. Just you are still uh, unnoticed by anybody else, but as you travel through towards the corners, it's more because the people here tend to... They are looking down rather than necessarily all looking up, except for you spot a few more of these other people who just seem to be kind of prancing through the street, no shoes on, terrible dirty clothes. Occasionally the way they move, you can hear that they might be wearing something that jingles beneath their tunic. Hey, Krishnas. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. It's another life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you. You keep saying these weird things. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. There, are about other, there are other smiths and shops in the corners. There's actually, um, there's a bakery nearby. There must be, it kind of still smells really good. So the life here is busy, populated, but they, there are a lot of really poor people here sitting on the corners. Some of them have injuries that have never healed and um, they're quite dirty. I think you should uh, stop one of these dancing people and see what the fuck is going on. I don't disagree. They're All so right. filthy, but they're so happy. It just seems unnatural. I mean, I grew up in the woods. I was pretty happy, but that's no, not the point. Not the uh, look, <laughs> right now. Alan, he runs over to the first person you can find. And... What kind of a person are you looking for? He's looking at the, the dancing, one of these dancing, fluttery, very dirty Hobos. people. Hobos. Dancing. And you get close to her, she has dark hair plastered with sweat and dirt and stuck to her face, but she's just still grinning. And you see that as you get closer, there's a little bit of blood, dried caked blood around her ears and her nose and her teeth are very yellow and her whole skin is, the pallor of her is unwell and you're a little concerned to get too close, but she's hey. very happy. Uh, Hey there, darling. Um, <laughs> it's just you look quite happy right now, which is completely juxtaposed against I am what the you leaf. look like. <laughs> yes, but so. I am the tree. That's great. You that's, are the tree. That's good. Um, I am the stream. I am the ocean. Oh. I am life. Wonderful. I am death. You are right. everything. Right. Um, you are nature. Speaking of nature, right. we are here looking to help somebody. We're looking for a, uh, a druid who is trapped in the city and needs to get out. And we are here to help her get out and get back to her ruins. She sounds like the Green Mother. She, yes, the Green Mother. She's in prison here. Yes, now I, I don't believe she is. And I do think she is. No, they captured her. They took our mother all the way through town. But we are going to continue to worship her. How do you know that she's still in prison? Because she was taken to prison. But no one leaves the prison. If I told you she got out of prison, what would you say? She'd be here to help us. Right. She would bring us everything we need. But she's not here, so she can't be out. Why are you so happy if your green mother is imprisoned? Why aren't you in mourning? You can laugh or you can cry. Or you can dance. Or you can join a cult. Or you can There's wail. That. Or you can be sad about everything about the world. Or you can bring happiness to everyone else. Do you want some seeds? I'd love to take some of your seeds, please. And she pulls out another packet of cardamom seeds. Oh, thank you so much. Do you want some seeds? Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Thank you. Another packet of seeds. For right, that's great. I mean, these are beautiful seeds. You but... should go away to tell everybody that you are the leaf. And you are the tree. And you are the stream. All right. And you are the ocean. Oh, and you are life. We are all. And you are death. We are every. I, well, I, I mean, yeah, that's you're for sure. pretty accurate on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No so you guys there. are in the corners, and now right. to Eleanor. Okay, um, so uh, I am looking for. Uh, correct me if I'm getting his name wrong. Uh, Zim Zub Zup 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 Zup. Yeah. Word. Up. Got Sums it. Up. Uh, yeah, I am trying to find him. Mm-hmm. He said he was heading to a specific place. You do know that he's headed for the Palatinate, which is the section of the city where the council palace is. 
Okay. Um, how much of a head start did he have on me before I parted with my company? I was keeping track of that, or I would like to have been keeping track of that. Uh, he had a good 50 feet on you before you lost sight of him as he seemed to meld into the crowds. He's a little short for a human, so. Sure. Uh, I, hmm. Um, I would like to assess my surroundings and find a good vantage point. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll look for And what kind of, what are you then, looking for in your surroundings? Uh, you a place that I can perch and watch the crowds flow and see where different groups, it's very busy in the streets. Yes, right but, now. Yeah, I just want to see where different groups of people are flowing to and where. Sure. And just perception. Uh, 16. A lot of people are moving forward. Either they're going towards shops where they know somebody mm -hmm. and they seem to be greeting them and then bringing in additional wares or mm -hmm. supplies, or people are headed towards the main plaza. And you can see that when they get there, they park their little stall or their cart and they pop up some little stands. And then they have a little awning that comes out over their cart and they're putting out flowers and fruit, wines. Okay. Um, do I stand up here? As an elf, you do. You notice that the city is mostly humans, higher than average percentage of dwarves here as they are moving about. What about my my garb or my attire? Lots of people are dressed very colorful coming in. Okay. And so you don't quite stand out other than the fact that you are taller than most people here uh -huh. and there are not that many elves. Okay. You have spotted a couple moving about, sure. but um, they seem rare. Anyone selling... Uh, Cowls or hats or hoods nearby? There are a bunch of stalls selling kind of like party hat type things. And yes, something I can t tuck, uh, tuck my ears into? Yeah, you'd be able to find that. Okay. So you uh, want to walk over to a, like a, a hat, a haberdashery or type thing? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, I find one that would best cover my uh, whatever my ears or whatever uh, uh, ad additional uh, adornments I may have. Uh, I don't even want to exchange words, just a nod. Coin. Does your current outfit have a hood? Uh, I don't believe it does, no. Okay, so you can kind of find like a a dark cowl that's just basically a piece of fabric that, that yeah, could come up. That will do it. just Something fine. very simple. Yeah. Easily found. And the shopkeep um, looks over at you and it's, got, uh, it's going to be some some silver for the purchase. How much? It's uh, 10 silver. Um, I don't know, uh, I don't know the delineation of coin. I was uh, taught that uh, in, my, in my order as a thing that happens outside of my order, but I wasn't paying attention that class. So I just uh, hand the shopkeep one gold piece. Accepts it and, oh my goodness, this is so generous of you. Uh, and you I'm to gone. Take something else. Oh my goodness, strange man. It's <laughs> oh, very exciting. Back at the Lazy Bee, huh. as you come Sweet. into the Lazy Bee. Um. You spot the two drunk guards and a couple of other patrons. Oh. And we're gonna find out what they have to say Next time. Oh! Pick oh. 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 it up, dice. I'm ready to roll. Oh, so many. Yes. <laughs> Let's get a roll. For That's a bad one. vibe. Oh, um. don't, don't gift that. <laughs> Can't believe I double botched. Is that, I've never <laughs> seen that. That was bad. And well then done. my next roll was two eighteen. Yeah, I know what's going on we there. Like, weird D and deep dive. We gonna have some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a lottery winning. 